Cups, Pints, and Quarts, Lesson 8.10. A cup is equal to 8 ounces. So one of these measuring cups here is equal to 8 ounces, but we're going to learn more about that when we get into fourth grade. For right now, what we need to know is that two of these cups will make one pint. We can take two cupfuls and fill that pint container. See? If we had two of these pint containers, we could fill a quart container. If one of these is two cups, then wouldn't four cu cups be here? That's two cups and that's two cups. Two plus two is four. That means four cups would go into one quart, doesn't it? And the abbreviations are, for cup, it's the letter C, for pint, it's a PT, and for quart, it's a QT. That's how we write them shorter, okay? So let's see if we can figure out how many cups are here. We know that two cups makes one pint, so that would be two cups, and that would be two cups, wouldn't it? That would be four cups. How about here? We know one pint is two cups. We know that one. How many cups are in a quart? Remember, if that's two cups and that's two cups, then together that makes four cups. So a quart is four cups. We add the four cups plus the two cups, we get six cups. One quart and one pint is the same thing as six cups. See? If this is four cups, that means this is four cups, and four cups and four cups is eight cups. See? Now remember, a pint is two cups, right? So what would be three pints? How many cups? That's two cups, that's two cups, and that's two cups. We could skip count by two, two, four, six. We could also do two plus two plus two. Two plus two is four, plus two is six. So that'd be six cups, all right? Now let's see if we can figure out how many pints are here. We've got four cups. How many pints would that be? Well, we know that two cups makes one pint. So that means that these two cups makes one pint, and these two bottom ones would make another pint, wouldn't it? That'd be one pint, two pints. Now how many do we have? We've got how many pints? How many pints are in one quart? Two, right? There's two pints here. And we know two cups makes a pint, so two plus one, that would make three pints, wouldn't it? See? We can convert and con change them all to each other, can't we? Now we have three quarts. How many pints would that be? Well, we know that one quart is two pints, so what would three quarts be? If one quart is two pints, then this is two pints and that's two pints, isn't it? We can skip count by twos, two, four, six, or we could just add two plus two plus two. Two plus two is four, plus two is six. That would be six pints, okay? Now this is gonna get a little trickier, stay with me. Let's see if we can write how many cups, pints, or quarts they would be. Two cups is equal to how many pints? Do you remember? Two cups makes one pint, doesn't it? So if we had two cups, we'd have one pint. How many quarts would we have? If we had one pint, how many quarts would we have? Well, we need two pints to make one quart. So if we only had one pint, we wouldn't have any quarts, would we? That would be a zero. We don't have enough to make a quart. What if we had four cups? We can look over here at our previous work. Here's four cups, and we saw that it made two pints. One pint, two pint. So if we had four cups, it would be 
equal to two pints. How many quarts would that give us? Do you remember? Two pints makes how many quarts? One quart. See? That means that four cups makes a quart or two pints makes a quart. See that? What if we doubled the four to an eight? How many pints do you think we'd have? Well, we know that two cups makes one pint. Two makes one pint. Another two would make another pint. That's four. Another two would make another pint. That's six. And another two would make another pint. That would be eight cups. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight, doesn't it? And each one of these two cups would be equal to a pint. So that would be four pints. How many quarts would it be? Well, we know two pints makes one quart. Four pints would make, do you know? Wouldn't this just be two plus two? And if two of them is one quart and we have a two and a two, that would be two quarts, wouldn't it? Do you see a pattern of what's happening? One got doubled to a two, two got doubled to a four. This went zero, one, two. See that? Now, what if we had 12 cups? Well, we know that eight cups is four pints. Let's add some more pints. So if eight is four, we could do nine, 10, 11, 12, and get six pints. See? We knew eight cups was four. If we added another two and another two, that got us 12. See? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's the 12 cups, and two of each of these cups makes a pint. So that's one pint, two pint, three pint, four pint, five pint, six pints. How many quarts would we have? Well, we know that two pints makes one quart. Six pints would make how many quarts? If two of them makes one, 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6, isn't it? 2 pints plus 2 pints plus 2 pints. So that would be 1 quart, 2 quarts, 3 quarts. See? Now let's see if we could do some problem solving. Did you know that there's 4 quarts in 1 gallon? Yeah. If you had 4 quart containers, it would fill a gallon container. Four quarts equals a gallon. So two quarts, just two of these, well, that would fill a half-gallon container. Yeah, they have half-gallon containers, too. So is one quart more than a half-gallon? Well, let's look. It says two quarts equals a half-gallon. Is one quart more than a half-gallon? No. We need two to be a half-gallon, so one quart would not be more. See, it says more, so the answer is no. Are eight quarts equal to two gallons? Yes or no? Well, four quarts equals one gallon. So what would eight quarts be? Would that be equal to two gallons? Four quarts plus four quarts makes eight quarts. And if four quarts is one gallon, then the four plus the four makes a one gallon plus a one gallon makes two gallons. So are eight quarts equal to two gallons? Yes, they are. If four of these are equal to one gallon, if we had eight of these, we'd have two gallons, wouldn't we? All right, so those are cups, pints, and quarts. And you're gonna learn more about this in third grade and you're gonna learn more about it in fourth grade. And each time they'll teach you a little bit more, okay? We're going to go on and we're going to talk about liters in the next video, and that's metric liquid volume and capacity. Okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.